Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm out here at my parents' house. Uh, just hoed this all up by hand. Uh, we got some potatoes growing down here at the south side. And then what I'm going to do for the rest of the garden, um, since I'm not always up here, I'm going to lay down some of this woven ground cover, um, tack it down with some uh, six inch staples, and then I'm either going to burn holes or cut holes and then plant corn. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got corn, sweet corn, bush beans, um, got some cucumbers, and that's pretty much all we're going to plant here. So I actually forgot the cucumber trellis, um, so we're just going to have to make it work. Uh, you know, we'll just come back here in about a week, get that trellis set up. Um, but in the meantime, just going to get this uh, fabric rolled out. So I'm just going to kind of show you that process. Obviously, we'll speed it up, um, but enjoy. And I'm sure I'll put some sort of voiceover or music or, um, you know, obviously just do it really quick here. All right, so we're starting off with the woven ground cover um, here at the north end. And we're planting the corn uh, at the north end because it is the tallest. Um, you know, it's going to be six to probably seven feet tall. So being at the north end, that will make sure that it's, you know, getting the sunlight it needs, but at the same time not um, overshadowing anything else. So um, woven ground cover is not something that people typically use for, like, sweet corn or things like that. But since I'm not going to be at this uh, this garden, you know, most of the time, uh, you know, what's happened in the past is I've basically planted stuff here and then ended up with a weed patch. Um, because it's kind of hard to take care of, you know, it's a little bit over a half an hour away from my house, um, and the original, you know, gardening for gains, or I guess this is the original gardening for gains, um, but the one at my house, uh, consider that number one now, and then this one is number two, uh, so it was pretty quick to roll, roll down the ground fabric, what I do is, uh, roll it out, and then put, uh, six inch sod staples, probably every you know, three feet, maybe six feet, and then just uh, stagger it just to make sure that it's holding the fabric down. Um, so here you can see I'm going along really slowly here with the uh, with the handheld torch, and there's barely enough propane in here to even get a flame, uh, but once I lit it up, uh, it was good to go, and then I just went and made holes every six inches to a foot, and, uh, you know, just going to pack the pack everything in here you know i figure it's better to pack in stuff that you're actually wanting to grow versus uh letting a shit ton of weeds take over so um still keeping the other side open for the uh potatoes uh just so we can hill up some dirt around them kind of increase the uh the growth there and uh our yield of, of potato tubers that way by uh mounding some more dirt around them um, but i think this is going to be great cut down on a ton of weeds and uh, really improve our yields here this year for um, the Garden of Gains out at my parents house. Gardening for Gains North location. All right so finally finished up uh, with setting that up and actually pretty quick not too bad 45 minutes total getting everything set up but as you can see here uh, torch worked perfectly. So got about, I don't know, probably a couple hundred spots. So I'm going to fill that up with uh, corn, cucumbers, and bush beans. Um, so I'm going to finish that up and then uh, head on back home. All right, guys, so uh, just finished up <clears throat> planting everything up here in the garden. Uh, burned the holes for the seeds. And then uh, here in the first couple rows, we got sweet corn. And then transition to bush beans uh, here in this third row, uh, some additional bush beans. And then here we switched it up, um, did bush beans down this side, and then cucumbers right here. So we'll have a small trellis just going vertical, and then uh, finishing it up over here on this little patch uh, with winter spaghetti squash. So um, getting a big variety planted out here at my parents to kind of complement uh, our lack of space that we have in the garden in Piqua. So uh, just keeping everything moving. Um, so heading back to my place now, let the dogs out and, uh, you know, get everything rolling for our garden there. 
I think we're pretty much all squared away. Um, now we just gotta keep everything watered, uh, get fertilizer on it, uh, keep doing treatments, and then we'll come back here to do the uh, cucumber trellis sometime next week. Um, so thanks for watching in, and uh, as always, I appreciate it. I thought I already closed out my video uh, when I was out at my parents, but just wanted to take you through the garden here real quick because um, didn't complete the video last night. But here's where we got the peppers planted up. Um, and as you can see here, I actually messed up. wanted to plant the ghost peppers up front here, and I accidentally swapped the ghost and the habanero. So I was only, originally going to only have two ghosts, but ended up with four. Um, looks like one is struggling to survive. Got a lot of sun today, um, but I think they're going to bounce back just fine. As we're going down the line here, uh, we've got uh, some hot jalapenos, six jalapenos, and then there's four yum yum mini bell peppers here. Behind it we have six Anaheim peppers, and then we got six more yum yum mini bells up there. So that's what we did yesterday. Everything's growing pretty good in the root pouches um, and for everyone who's involved in, with our CSA we got a lot that's going to be ready for the first two weeks um, so we got the groups split up so um, right now I think we have 10 or 11 people might even be 12 so I'll be sending out emails or Facebook messages kind of telling you which group you'll be in either June 1 or June 8 or you know however the weeks fall um, but start of the start of the uh, season I guess what we'll have available includes probably Swiss chard uh, definitely spinach lettuce um, leaf lettuce and some head lettuce as well arugula radishes um, so it's gonna be kind of light started off but definitely gonna make up with it you know throughout the rest of the year so um, looking forward to it got a lot growing and uh, I think we're actually gonna be ready for it this year so um, I think I've already said this, but thanks for tuning in, and as always, I appreciate it.